what's up? It's Molly and welcome back to my fitness channel. Today's video I'm very excited for because I feel like I haven't done a sit down video like this in a minute. I have been a little bit absent from this channel, but I have been so good with my fitness routine recently and I feel like I've gotten to a really healthy place with my diet, my workout routine. I've been taking up running recently and I've been loving it. I think, if, let me know if you guys are interested in seeing a running video on my channel soon. By the way, if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, follow my other YouTube channel, TikTok, all that good stuff. First, the idea for this video is I recently was scrolling through my camera roll and I came across this photo of myself from November of 2022. I'm gonna put it on the screen right here. I found a couple pictures. Once I found this specific one, I saw a couple more, um, all from around the same time frame of what my body looked like at the time. And then I took some pictures in the gym the other day and I compared the two of them and I realized that from November 22 until February 2024, I have made huge drastic changes in my body that I honestly didn't even realize until I put the two photos side by side and I saw how much change has truly happened. I posted an Instagram story of like a collage of the two pictures and I got so many questions and so many people asking for a video on like what I did. And I was gonna make a video on what I did, but honestly what I did is just like basic advice not even about weight loss or anything along those lines it's just basic health advice that you hear from a doctor you hear from literally every article you could ever look up on weight loss people over complicate weight loss to a point where it's like oh you can do this like this secret thing that's going to completely change your life but really it, it just it comes down to the basics if you want to change your life you know how to do it like you know the basic things that you have to do in order to see results so i thought i would make a video about the things that i stopped doing and that gave me results as a byproduct of stopping those things because all these things I'm gonna list in this video, they weren't even conscious things that I made a point to do. I just started doing them over time and looking back, I think that they helped in getting me from this to this. So without further ado, let's get into 10 things I stopped doing in order to see results. Number one kind of goes along with what I was originally saying and it's that I stopped focusing on the outcome. Oh my goodness, I feel like, you know, everyone is just so focused on when am I going to look good? When is my booty going to be super big? When are my arms going to be nice and plump? When are my shoulders going to look nice and toned? Like everyone is so focused on the outcome and it becomes... I get why because it becomes addictive to like see those results and you want to see those changes because you're putting in the work but the times in my life where I have seen the most drastic changes to my body it's almost been like something where it does kind of happen overnight in a way because I'll just be on a good workout routine I'll be doing what I'm supposed to be doing I'm not really focused on every day being like oh are my jeans looser I don't focus on those things and then over time it'll be like six months down the line and I'm like Oh my god, like I look completely different than I did in the start and you don't realize it on a day-to-day -day basis because you know you're your biggest critic you're gonna be looking in the mirror and being like literally nothing's changing but things are changing you just don't realize it in the moment so I think it's key to just stop focusing on the outcome so much let time do its thing just do it and make it a habit and then over time you can compare from like six months ago to now and see the differences but don't be like oh, on Monday I looked so good and now on Wednesday I look a little bit bloated I must be doing something wrong like don't focus too much on the day-to-day -day and think that in a couple months you're gonna be completely snatched and completely a whole different person the changes might be subtle and it might be a slow um, progression over time but things will change and don't be so hard on yourself that you need to focus on the outcome all the time. Number two, this is advice that a lot of people have given me that I tend to not listen to but I have been I would say for the past like six months or so and it's to stop over complicating things, stop over exercising, stop going all balls to the wall right away and thinking that that's gonna be the best approach. I'm a type of person where I'm like an all or nothing. Like if I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it and I'm not gonna like half-ass something. So I want it to be absolutely perfect when I'm doing it. I've realized with fitness, you can't be a perfectionist. Like it's okay if I go into the gym and I'm wearing my Apple Watch and it says I only burned 200 calories for the workout. And then some other workouts I'll burn like 900. And it's okay that there aren't consistencies every single day of the same exact thing. It's not going to be perfect every time and just because you mess up one time doesn't mean that your whole thing is out the window It's not that serious Don't think that you need to be doing the absolute most in the gym every single workout and literally overexerting yourself so much to the point of exhaustion Because you want quicker results I think that's the thing that it boils down to is people think that if they just go harder in the gym That they can get results in a quicker amount of time and then they can stop doing those things It doesn't make sense to go full force in as hard as you can because you are going to get exhausted until 
tired quicker than if you just stayed at a steady pace and you will get the results that you want. It may take a little bit longer, but it'll be healthier for you, for your mental health and your physical health if you just slow things down and go at a steady pace. Number three, I don't think a lot of the girlies out there are gonna like this one, but it needs to be said because I think that it was probably, it might have been the number one contributor to me dropping some weight. Just overall looking different and looking healthier was the fact that I cut out alcohol and binge drinking. It's not that I cut out alcohol completely. I like to now not have like these strict, strict rules in my life where I can't do something because then it just makes me want to do that thing more. I have just cut out alcohol to a point where I'm not casually having drinks anymore. You know, I would go through phases before I think where I would just be going out every single night and I would be having drinks and margarita pitchers and hookah and you know, you name it, I was having it. Shots, not even just have straight alcohol shots. I look like a green tea shot or something because I need it sweeter. So I would be having green tea shots, margarita pitchers, mixed drinks. Like I was having so much sugar, so much alcohol. And at the end of the day, I had to be honest with myself that I am just not the type of person who can go out and have drinks and get super drunk and then wake up the next morning and go to a workout class. Like I'm just not that girl. I am jealous of the girls who are like that, but that's not me. I am out of commission for like a week and a half. I swear I like literally can't do anything and I get so sad and it just doesn't feel good to me anymore. That's not to say that I'm never gonna drink again or like I'm, you know, not gonna have a drink if I'm going out with friends. I just don't overindulge in it anymore like I used to. It saves me a ton of money. I look healthier in my opinion at least without having all the alcohol in my system constantly. I feel better, I'm happier. Just overall, cutting out alcohol has done so many good things to myself like weight loss and body image aside cutting it out has been huge. I shouldn't say just cutting out alcohol, I should say like cutting out binge drinking, I guess, and just like going on a bender, like a weekend bender. That's fun, maybe like once every six months, but that's about it for me. Like I really don't need to have alcohol that often. I can have fun without alcohol. I feel more in control of my life when I don't have it, and I've just, I've really been enjoying having less alcohol. And I think that if you are out there and this is resonating with you at all, maybe just try it for a little bit and see if you start to feel better, because I sure did. Okay, number four, is another one that might be a little bit controversial and I am not perfect at this but I think in the past year I have really cut out a lot of or stopped relying specifically on highly processed protein foods like protein shakes protein bars um, protein chips they have protein everything and I'm all about having a protein shake every once in a while I have my fair life shakes pretty often but I don't rely on those anymore when I was trying to be healthy and I was in that like before photo that I'm using in this video, um, I was having like so many protein shakes. I was having like protein cookies. I was having literally like protein, you name it. I was like, oh, this is like good for me. Like, let me have this. I realized over the last couple months, what makes me feel the best is focusing on whole foods. And I think that that's the way humans should eat in general is focusing on whole foods. So chicken, ground beef, or if you're vegan, whatever it is, like getting your protein in from natural foods. Like I said, it's not like I never have a protein shake or I never have a protein bar. I'm just not relying on it so much anymore. I'm not having like four different processed foods throughout the day. I like to keep my foods pretty simple now and just having, you know, eggs and avocado and rice and chicken. Like I like to keep things a lot more simplified and I think that's been helping a ton. Number five, you probably hear this one a lot, but it's I stopped comparing my journey to anyone else's. It's really easy to look at someone and be like, oh my God, her body is so good. I want to look like that. But you have to remember that she has probably been in the gym for like four plus years and that's why she looks the way that she does and going along with this I think that people also can get really overwhelmed thinking about how long it's going to take them to see the results that they want to see something I've always known and that I try to remind myself of is time is gonna go by whether you like it or not like if someone said to you oh that's gonna take three months three months is gonna happen whether you like it or not so you might as well do what you want to do to get towards your goal because three months is gonna pass by whether you work towards your goal or you didn't so you're either gonna be Three months from now saying, I'm so happy that I started and I'm so happy that I stuck with it. Or you're gonna be saying three months from now, oh, I wish I started three months ago because then I would have had three months under my belt and now I'm just starting now. So these all kind of go together, but just like don't think about the big picture so much. Don't get so wrapped up in how long somebody else's journey took or how quick somebody else's journey was because everybody is different and everybody's body responds differently and you have to learn to love your own body and love the journey that you're on and not worry so much about what other people are doing. Oh my gosh, number six 
is a little bit more um, tough love, but I stopped telling myself that I was working hard when I wasn't. Like I stopped telling myself like, oh, I just had such a good workout. Oh my God, I need to like treat myself now. When in reality, I like didn't even go hard in the gym at all. And I would kind of just be like dilly dallying in the gym and really not burning a sweat at all. And then I would wonder why I'm not seeing results. And it was because I was barely doing anything in the gym. And then I would like, tell myself like, oh, I worked out today so like I can have like an extra this or an extra that. And I wasn't even going as hard as I know I had the potential to go. And I'm not saying you have to like fully exert yourself in the gym every single time and like, again, get to the point where you're over exercising, but just be honest with yourself and be like, did I really push myself? Or did I just tell myself like that's as far as I could go because I was too lazy to wanna go further. Oh my God, for like the past year, I've been saying that I wanna get into running. I wanna be a runner again. I wanna do it because I used to do it in high school. I would run like seven miles a day and it was my favorite thing in the entire world but for so long I've been saying I want to get into it and then I'll start running and I'll be like oh, I can barely run like half a mile like this stinks like I would do CT5k and it would get way too hard at like the points where you had to run for like three minutes straight guys I don't know what has come over me within the past month and a half but I can now run like six to seven miles sometimes upwards of ten miles at once and I realized that it's all in my head it was all in my head the whole time because I just kept telling myself like oh this is too hard I quit but I could do it like I physically could do it it was just all in my head and I was being too soft on myself and telling myself like oh I feel like I you know worked as hard as I needed to like that's enough for today but in reality I could have ran that extra half a mile I could have ran that extra mile I could have run it faster and I just wasn't um, giving myself the tough love that I needed and being like no you can do more and you will like let's not give up and go home Just because you feel like it. Let's stay in the gym and actually get a good workout in number seven Is that I stopped being sedentary for multiple days in a row So I'm sure a lot of you out there work computer jobs or you work at a desk job You work from home and it can get really easy to just stay cooped up in your apartment and not be active for multiple days in a row and I've realized that doing that makes me feel so terrible about myself when I am active and I am making sure that every day or almost every single day I'm at least getting a walk-in I'm getting some type of physical activity I feel so much more confident I feel so much more proud of myself I feel like I can do anything that I set my mind to not even just in the physical aspects but like in life in general I feel like I can tackle daily tasks when I am proud of myself and proud of the person that I showed up as that day you can get so wrapped up in the cycle of just staying in your house not exercising telling yourself that you're gonna start tomorrow or the next day or the next day or the next Monday or the first day of the month of the next month just start now it doesn't have to be something super intense but like I said it could be as simple as a walk I just try now to not be sedentary for multiple days in a row my job is like super first of all isolating it is very lonely but it also is something where I can just sit at a desk and really not get my steps in really just not be active in any way and that only leads to me being even more inactive like the more I do it the more I get into this slump I'll be like yeah I did that workout today it makes you want to do more with your day it makes you be like if I did that I can do this and if I did this I could do that it just makes you a more productive person in general when you are active this next one I hate to say it but like moms were right when we were younger like we have food at home I stopped eating out as much even if it's quote-unquote healthy because the thing about it is you don't really know how much sodium they're putting into the food you just don't know exactly what's going into the food that you're eating and I'm not saying that you can never eat out I'm definitely not saying that at all I'm learning to adapt and become a different type of person where I'm not so all or nothing like oh you can never do this you can't do this for 60 days like no you can if something comes up and you want to eat out you can this is a good example I love Chipotle I can I can eat a bowl any day of the week but people love to say like oh it's healthy because it's just like lettuce rice beans chicken and I know it's really easy in a pinch and it just like makes more sense sometimes trust me I'm in that boat as well but just try to be conscious of the fact that you don't need to eat out all the time and that you can make food at home you can make it taste good I try and share that a lot on my channel that you can make food taste good at home I have a million recipe videos on my channel if you guys want to go check those out like I have so many options to choose from you can really make any meal that you're craving healthier at home with just a few minor tweaks here and there um, or even if you don't want to tweak it if you want to make like the full unhealthy meal like if I wanted to make a chicken pot pie at home at least I know that what's going into it is better than like the frozen aisle chicken pot pie you know I know exactly what's going into it I made it myself it's better for me than buying something pre-packaged and processed and I think that that was a huge thing in seeing results for myself is making my food 
food at home. I stopped eating out as much. Obviously, I got out of a relationship. So when I was in a relationship, we would go out to dinner quite a bit because that was like my favorite thing to do with my boyfriend at the time was going out to dinner and getting drinks and food and like having a good time. So we would do that quite often. And when I cut that out, it was like almost instantly, effortlessly, I saw so many changes already because eating out is truly like one of the biggest things for me that made me gain weight I think was just not having control over what went into my food not having control over the portion sizes not eating Obviously when you go out to eat like you don't want to get like the boring healthy dish Like you want to order the wings and the french fries and you want to try the special of the week Like you don't want to get the boring healthy stuff. You want the fun stuff So I would say just have like more special moments when you do go out to eat or like have you know One day a week where you get chipotle or or whatever it is but just don't get those things every single day if you're trying to see results like I was number nine this is a big one for me and something I definitely started doing just more so recently I stopped punishing myself for quote-unquote messing up I used to be so hard on myself and feel like oh my god like I just had a candy bar and now like I just completely messed up so I have to start all over again next Monday so now I'm just gonna go like full-fledged unhealthy for the rest of the week because I already messed up and I'll start again on Monday no it's not that serious again that's my favorite quote of this video is it's not that serious there really is no messing up in a lifestyle change because you're making this change for the longevity of your life so there is no mess ups there can be peaks and dips and peaks and dips but there's no messing up truly and I think I was so hard on myself thinking that like I needed to be 100,000% perfect and I could never have a treat I could never mess up you know when I was doing things like 75 hard I was convinced that doing 75 hard was like the only way to see results when in reality I'm not bashing 75 hard because I did it and I did see results but um, doing it it just feels like you're almost like punishing yourself and you're in this like prison of like you have to do these things every single day and if you don't check everything off you have to start all over again it's very intense and it doesn't need weight loss and going on a fitness journey and eating healthy it doesn't have to be like that like it can be this ebb and flow have like a day where maybe you're not eating as healthy or you didn't work out and then the next day you just go right back to your normal schedule and you get right back on track it doesn't have to be this perfection all the time it can be a little bit of ups and downs and it can be a little bit of give and take okay today I didn't work out but I ate healthy and I you know I had the option of eating something unhealthy but I chose the healthy thing like there are you know wins and losses in every single day and it doesn't all have to be a win and it's not realistic to think that it's going to be on to number 10 and this one I think might be the most important and it's that I stopped hating myself into wanting to change and I stopped almost like rage working out I don't know if this is just a me thing but I would get to a point where I hated the way that I looked so much that I'd be like I need to go to the gym right now I don't care if I just ate a large pepperoni pizza like I need to get into the gym right now and I need to run 15 miles and then I need to bike for 13 hours and then I need to strength train and then I need to do abs and and then I need to go on the ladder and then I need to go on the Stairmaster like bang 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 and then I need to go run on the track all night I would go into these like rage workouts where I was like I hate myself so much and that's why I'm in the gym and you need to start getting to a point where you say I love myself so much and that's why I'm going to the gym and I know it sounds so cliche and cheesy and almost like oh really like I have to love myself didn't love working out and do it for loving myself like I want to change my body It's perfectly fine to say I want to grow my glutes or I want to lose some body fat Like it's okay to say those things But you have to do it out of a space of love and it took me a really long time to realize that because when you're in the gym And you're just in there again almost like punishing yourself and being like oh my god Like I hate myself so much I need to I need to lose weight right now and I need to do it immediately It doesn't feel good and you want the gym to be a safe space for you You want it to be a place where you feel you know excited to go there you welcome the gym into your life and you're excited for after work to have that hour to yourself to work on yourself it shouldn't be something that you dread it should be something that you love to do it literally should be the same as you know I love to like shower and wash my hair it should be the same as that or I love to get my nails done every two weeks I love to go to the gym because the gym and getting your nails done are in the same category it's all about taking care of yourself or I love to get my hair done I love to get a blowout Okay, well you should love working out as well because they're in the same category. Working out doesn't even be something that you're like, oh, I hate working out. Like I hate, you know, having to go to the gym. And You just need to get to a place mentally where you say, I am doing this because I love myself so much that I know that the potential of myself and my physical health is endless and I can continue to do this and continue to work on myself for the rest of my life because I am an endless 
project that I want to continue to better and I want to continue to nurture myself and continue to reach my highest potential. That is what you should be saying. Not so much of like, oh my God, if I don't lose this X amount of weight by summer, then I'm going to hate myself. Like, those are my 10 things that I stopped doing. Let me know if you guys have any other video requests that you want to see down below. And if you liked this kind of just like chit chat video, I haven't done one, like I said, in a really long time, but I do think that they're fun to do every once in a while. I have a lot more planned for this month. Like I said, I've been getting really back into my fitness grinds. I have been on my workout grinds, literally on my running grind. It's crazy. Really truthfully cannot wait to get down to the gym tonight and do my run. And then I have back and biceps today. I've just been having a really good workout split and I've been feeling so motivated and excited to go down to the gym. And like I said, just have that hour and a half to really work on myself and zone out and not think about any of the stresses. So let me know down below if you guys want to see a full video on my running journey, like what I do, how I've gotten to a point where I can run more because I do have some running tips. It's not as simple as I try and make it seem of just like, oh, I just like kept running. There is a little bit of um, tips and tricks that I have up my sleeve, but for the most part, I've just been pushing myself harder, not to a point of exhaustion, just to a point of like feeling good and feeling like I'm progressing in my journey because I feel like I haven't progressed in a really long time. I honestly was shocked when I saw the before and after photos or before and now, not before and after. There's no technically like after because I'm always working on myself. But when I saw the before and today, present day, photos I was really shocked because I didn't I didn't realize how much my body has changed I knew it because like I I wear a different size pant now I wear a different size shirt now things have changed like the jeans that I used to wear back then don't fit me anymore so things have changed but seeing it is so black and white in these photos and being like wow I really did change it was crazy it's just fun to like be your own motivation and be like wow if I did that like imagine what another year from now could be. Yeah, I have tons of videos coming your way this month. I want to do a video also about my morning routine and how I wake up so much earlier now because I wake up by like 5 a.m every single day and it's the best part of my day is waking up early so I want to make a video about how to be a morning person and how to like wake up early or at least just like my morning routine because it's very near and dear to my heart. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe here if you're new. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, my vlog channel here on YouTube. I have all of that in the description box down below. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you in my next video very soon.